What's up, guys? My name's Ian, and we are back on the Pixel Luck server for another episode of Pixmon. And this is the Fighting Gym Dolph Saga's close for now. Uh, so yeah, we're back on the Pixelmon server. However, before we go any further, some things happened off camera, and I'll quickly show you guys right now. So um, yeah, here's what happened off camera real quick. So there you go guys, we got some evolutions, I'll, uh, I'll quickly bring them out. We have Gengar, Primplup, and Pidgeotto. Um, so these are the things that evolved off camera. Let me turn down the sounds a bit, this isn't a bit loud there. Let's, down, let's turn all the music off actually. So uh, yeah, these are our three new evolutions on the team, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I actually traded a Gengar with a uh, Silent V12, so uh, that's kind of cool. I'll probably name Gengar. After the, after the trade, let me see. I need to bring these guys back in now. It's always the most difficult bit. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna head back to spawn right now. Actually, let's use let's use the signs. So we warp to hub. So yeah, I've got something I want to do this episode, and it is in fact catch our uh, two new team members. Now, you you can see I've got four members already, and these aren't necessarily our final team members. You know, we are of course going to become the champions of this server. Now I don't know. Um, but yeah, these aren't our final four team members. However, I would like to get a permanent team member today, and to do that, we're going to need to sell off our Master Ball. And I know you guys are like, oh no, don't sell the Master Ball. You might find a Mew. In which case, we'll catch it with a Pokeball. Um, but we do need to sell off the Master Ball today because we are going to buy a fossil. So let's uh, say sayonara to the Master Ball. And hopefully, we have enough now, actually. Slash ball. There we go. Okay, so we have enough now to uh, to get the fossil I would like. Now, if you're playing in survival, this is not the way you get fossils. So, uh, yeah, if you if you've come here for a tutorial on how to get fossils, sorry to disappoint. Um, but I'm playing on a server where we buy fossils based on our in-game currency. You can see I sold the master ball there, which has just put me over the balance because it's four thousand to buy a fossil, and I want a a specific fossil. Um, so these are the fossils you can buy on the server. You can buy a Lilip, a Kabuto, an Omnimite, a uh, Aerodactyl, which is really powerful apparently. I think the Rock Gym leader uses it on this server. And we can get Cranido, Shieldon, Tortuga, and an Archon. And a Pokeball for some reason is in this shop. But uh, the specific Pokemon that I want to buy is a Cranidos. So there we go, we've got ourselves a Skull Fossil, which I'm really excited for. Now, so as I mentioned, if you're playing in survival and you've come for a tutorial, uh, this is not the usual way you get a fossil. I believe you get a fossil through caving. You can find like rare fossils and things in the in the walls of caves and such. But on this server, you buy the fossils with in-game currency. So there we go. Now to bring this fossil back to life, we're going to need to enter a fossil room. And uh, let's enter fossil room number one. I don't think anyone's using it. So here we are. This is our fossil machine. So let's see here. Let's um. How do we use it? Do we just stick it in here? In here? Oh, there we go. So look at this. It's a. Uh, we have our fossil working. It looks like. It's very nice. So we got four percent done. Now we need to wait here until it finishes, and then we'll get ourselves a Cranidos, which I'm so excited for. I think I'll probably be using the Cranidos to take on the Rock Gym Leader. So, this is indeed how you bring fossils back to life. 10% done already, so it's quite fast as well. Uh, okay, so I'll quickly mention while we're waiting, I might as well, that these three Pokemon were caught by me on this serve uh, before, actually, it was before I, w I started the series, and I put them in here just so I wouldn't use them straight off the bat. But I might use them eventually, you know, it could be cool to have a Charizard on the team when we get, like, the fifth gym badge or something like that. But uh, I'll only use it if it's okay with you guys. So let me know if you don't mind me using these three Pokemon here. I do have in mind what I want to do this episode, and that is bring this guy back to life. And there's also something else I want to do as well. And that is, uh, I'll, I'll just say, it, it's catch him a chop. I plan on using him a champ uh, for the Rock Gym as well. Uh, so my team for the Rock Gym should be Primplup, 
uh, Rampados and Machamp, all going well. I might use Swinub as well, I'm, I'm a bit undecided on that. But I think Primplot, uh, Rampados and Machamp will be my final choices, so there we go. Now, so we're just still waiting on this. I think I'm going to take a quick break here while this actually does its job. And um, yeah, I'll be right back guys until this is finished. Okay, guys, it looks like we are ready to uh, take back our Kranidos. There we go. We got ourselves a level 1 Kranidos now. That's so cool. Okay. Um, I did this as it was a time lapse, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little speed fossilization thing. But let's bring out our little Kranidos guy now. Oh, I like that. He looks awesome. <laughs> He's trying to run away from us, though. Clearly he doesn't like us. That's really cool, though. You know, puts all these Eevees and Piplets and Mudkits to shame. We've got ourselves a Kranidos. Really happy about that. Okay. So, um, let's then head off to catch ourselves from a shop, hopefully. Now, we need to be careful because we can't level up Primplup anymore because the Rock Gym is capped at level 25. So, we need to make sure absolutely not to level up Primplup. We need to be careful as well not to level up Gengar in case you want to use him because the, uh, if you're not a leaf or a water type, you can be level 30, but no no um, larger. And I imagine my shop will be in a forest biome. And that is extreme hills. And then this is forest. Okay. So hopefully, um, my shop will be in here. Okay, guys. So uh, I just spent the last 20 or so minutes walking through a forest when I was kindly told in the chat that... Um, in fact, Machop spawn in Extreme Hills, so that's this one right here. So, um, yeah. In addition to that, guys, I realised something else, and that is that I wasn't in the right texture pack before, but now I am, so it's okay. <laughs> so, sorry about the start of the episode not being in the correct texture pack. Uh, that's my bad. So, let's hit. Let's go to Boulder City and head to the Extreme Hills, so we can find a Machop, which is definitely not located in a forest biome. And watch me just find like a Machop first time now, that'd be awesome. So uh, yeah, I have just spent the last uh, 10 to 20 minutes running through. Oh, there's a Machop there right away. You see how many things spawn? That's crazy. Level 34, it doesn't really help us. We need a level 30 or under. Preferably Machop as well. I like getting them into the first devolution. I don't know why, it's just a thing I like to do is catch things when they're at their first stage of evolution. So you can see them go through all the stages. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so, uh, let me think of what I, I was speaking about before I realised I'm in the wrong place to catch him a chop. So, um, yeah, I was talking about how there's not so many people on right now, and I, I realised that there could be a reason for that, and that reason being that the IP to this server has changed, and it used to be, oh, by the way, guys, this isn't my server, I know a couple of you guys are asking me to be, asking to be modded on the server, you're asking me to mod you, and it's not my server, guys. It's um it's owned by two awesome people known as Meaty and German. Um, I I'm I have no claim to the server. I don't own it. I don't pay rent on it. It's nothing to do with me except that I play on it, guys. So um, please don't ask me for mod or anything of the sort. Um, I really just play on it. And yes, anyway, there may be a few less people than usual because the IP has changed. And not only that, it's also Tuesday and that. It's going to have a factor. Most people play on weekends and yeah, but the IP has changed guys. So I just wanted to let you know that the updated IP is in the description. And if you guys want to play, I've been on here a lot. So if you guys want to play with me or you know, just want to play some Pixamon, uh, this is definitely an awesome server. I've, I said it last episode as well. And it's definitely true. It's really cool to uh, play on. And I'm still having trouble finding Machop. Oh, there's Machop. He's really small though. He's one level off evolving actually. Can we get a Slightly larger Machop, so he's not. 
You know what? Let's just get this my chop. I'm tired. I want to get my chop. Here we go. So, oh, it's already taking some damage as well. So let's go with payback, and hopefully it doesn't kill this Machop. That will kind of suck. Seismic Toss toss obviously has no effects. So let's go payback. Oh, and sorry guys if I sound really weird this episode. I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. It's just a bit of a cold, and you know, you know how it is. It kind of sucks, but it's not too bad, so I figured I'd come on records and pick someone while I'm not feeling 100%, and I'm um, not regretting it. So let's see here. Let's throw some Pokeballs at a good old Machop. And um, we might call this a slightly shorter episode this time. Just so we can go off and prepare for the Rock Gym, which is something I definitely want to do next episode. I want to get all our guys trained up on camera, off camera. So that next episode we can go straight into the Rock Gym. And be like, yeah, here's my, ma here's my Machamp, here's my Primplup, and here's my Rampardos. You know, we're going to own the place. It's going to be sweet. And did we catch him? Did we catch Machop? We can't. We caught Machop. That's awesome. We just got Machop, and that was a lot faster than running through the uh, the forest biome for twenty minutes. <laughs> Let's take a look at Machop. He is really small, isn't he? There we go. Machop level twenty-seven. He's almost evolved as well, which is crazy. And I also put a XP sheet on Kronidos to help him level up a bit. So let's actually try and stick Machop in a battle here. Let's go with a Karate Chop. He's really small. That's funny. Oh, Crandall's level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6, level 7, level 8, level 9. Wow, Crandall's just grew to level 9. That's uh, that's pretty crazy. Um, so let's see if we can't actually evolve Machop this episode, which would be great. And Crandall's as well is really leveling up, which is nice. Um, let's see here. This Graveler part? Oh no, the Graveler's already in a battle with that Lunatone over there. Um, Pidgey, Aeron, level 23, let's try him. And let's go with another Karate Chop, should be a one-shot kill. No worries. Kranidos level 10. Oh, Kranidos is just leveling up like a boss, that's for sure. Um, Geodude. Got some Scientist guys. Um... Level 19, level 21, level 21. Looking for some high levels. Having some troubles finding them now. Oh, these Rhyhorns over here look good. Nope, I want to battle you, Rhyhorn. Don't run away from me. Let's go with a Karate Chop. Scary face. Good try. Um, let's use Seismic Toss. Or maybe I should have used Low Sweep, actually. Might have been smarter. Actually, let's just use Karate Chop just to be sure. Although Rhyhorn's going to be quite heavy, so low low sweep could have been good. And Seismic Toss just to finish finish this uh, Rhyhorn off. Crandall's level 11, level 12. Oh, he's gaining levels like it's nobody's business, and I love it, I must admit. Level 26 Rhyhorn. Machop could level up from this one as well, which would be awesome. Machop's a beast. He's beasting it. Karate chop and let's go let's go for a low sweep. Stomp. Low sweep. Um do we have quick attack? I don't think so. Let's go for a, a seismic toss. And um, we're gonna die. Oh no we didn't. Crandos level 13. Hey, my chop's about to evolve. Look at this. Let's get a screenshot real quick. And come round and there we go, we got a screenshot of Machop evolving into a Machoke. And next episode, he will be a Machamp, I promise you. Look at this. And we got ourselves a Machoke, uh, Machoke which is awesome. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? You gonna help me take on the Rock Gym? Of course you are. Nice, awesome. So we got a Machop. Oh, it still says Machop for some reason, that's weird. But, um, nope, we, uh, we got ourselves a uh, I'm a choke. Um, we got level 13 Kronidos. So I'll quickly show you guys the team I, I want to use. I'll just bring out the three that I definitely want to use. Let's walk to spawn here. So let's see. Where can we go and bring out the three that we want to use? Okay. So let's see. 
We won't be using Pidgey because it's a rock gym, obviously. A Gengar, no. So it's between these four that I want to use. Between Swinub, Primplup, Cranidos, and Machoke. And I'd love to evolve this Machoke um, if I can. Um, let me just ask real quick. Just going to see if anyone's going to help me evolve my Machoke. And um, then I think we can call that an episode. So yeah, these four will be the four I take on the gym with. So hopefully... Um, hopefully someone... Oh, cool. So Zarella Mabos will help me do it. That's awesome. Hopefully he doesn't steal it. <laughs> Um. Oh, there he is. So uh, let me go and stand over here so he knows which trading thing we're using. And I can show you guys the trade system as well. So let him pick one. This one over here looks good to me too. And, uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got to wait for him to evolve it. Oh, he's already evolved it. Nice. Um, wait, what? Um. Oh, there we go, of course. So here we go. We're evolving our Machoke. What? Machoke is evolving? So, uh, thank you very much, person who helped us evolve. There's a weird glitch here, but, um, we're evolving it nonetheless. So thank you very much. I can't remember your name again with an X. Thank you. <laughs> But here we go, we're getting ourselves a mid-champ. How epic does that look? Look at him. Got ourselves a mid-champ and a Kranidos now. Let me just thank him real quick. There we go. So, um, there we go, we got ourselves a mid-champ. And uh, that's looking pretty cool. So I'm going to call it an episode there, guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. We got our mid-champ, we got our Kranidos. Things are looking good to uh, on our road to be a Pokemon master. So thanks for watching, guys. My name's Liam, and I'll uh, I'll see you all next time. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Later, guys.